Save and save as are very, very important features and also learning how to use the SkyDrive to save are very important so that you can share your documents. So let's take a look at a Word document and how to use the save and save as features. So jumping inside of Word, first of all, top left hand corner on the quick access toolbar you have the save button and you'll notice the keyboard shortcut is the control key and the S easy to remember. Control S is the keyboard shortcut for save. So on your keyboard you could do Control S. It happened. Nothing shows on the screen, but when I did Control S on the keyboard, it saved that file. Or I can click the button. Same thing. Nothing really happens, but it saved the file. And all it did was it updated with the same name in the same location. It updated any changes I've made in the file since the last time that I saved. Now if there's something you want to do different, you want to save it with a different name, you want to save it in a different location, or you want to save it as a different type of file, then you need Save As. So if you go to the Backstage, you remember you just click on File to get into the Backstage and choose Save As. When you get into Save As, now you have choices. Where do you want to save this? Well, right now it's stored on my computer. So let's go ahead and update it on the computer. Same name, but a different location. Currently, it's in the My Documents folder in the Microsoft Word 2013 folder. I don't want to put it there any longer. I want to put it out on the desktop. And that's already listed here, so I can simply choose Desktop. If it were not listed, though, you click on Browse to go find it. But it's here, so let's go ahead and click on Desktop. So now it automatically takes, took me out to my desktop, and now on my desktop, I'll call this Sample to Save. I don't have to change the name here because it's saved in a different location from the original file. So I'll go ahead and say Save. And now everything looks the same, but let's minimize here and I'll show you. There it is. Now it's stored out here on the desktop. So now I can access it via the desktop very quickly and very easily. Now let me go back into Word and let's talk about saving it on the SkyDrive. First of all, what is the SkyDrive? Let me show you an example of mine. I have mine open here and I've clicked, clicked the Internet Explorer to take you out to the SkyDrive. The SkyDrive is a Microsoft based location where you can store things virtually. You can store things in the cloud. So you'll want to create a Microsoft account and there are multiple options there for Microsoft accounts. You can go check that out on Microsoft.com or you can go straight to SkyDrive.com and when you go to SkyDrive.com if you don't already have an account you can set yourself up with an account. This is mine. This is my account called Demo Tutorial. And you'll notice my blue boxes here. Those are simply folders. So I have an Access Project Documents Public Excel 2013, Word 2013, and a Pictures folder. And then I have some files here at the bottom. They're not currently in folders. These are Word documents, sample file and sample to save. And then this is not, this is an AVI file. This is not a Word document. And I want to point that out because now when we go save it, you're going to see almost everything from this screen when we go back into Word. So let me minimize this. So now here we are back in Word and I'm going to go to File and Save As. And now I want to save it in the SkyDrive. So I'm going to switch from my computer to the SkyDrive and it looks similar. It has all of the recently, you know, recently utilized locations. I'm going to go ahead and click on Browse because I want to show you everything here. So it's going out, it's locating my SkyDrive, my connection to the SkyDrive. See here are all my folders. There are all those folders that I showed you. There's the sample file and the sample to save, but that AVI file is not showing because we're only looking at Word documents. So I'm not able to see the AVI file. I want to do this on purpose. I want to leave this called Sample to Save because I already have a file here called Sample to Save. Now what's about to happen is going to happen no matter where you store this. If you store an exact same file in the exact same location where it already exists, the computer knows that and it's going to tell you, uh-oh, you made a mistake. So here I have Sample to Save and I'm sorting it as a Word document and I click on Save. And when I do that, it's thinking, it's going out, it's finding the shared location, excuse me, the um, SkyDrive, and it says, uh-oh, you already have this out there. Would you like to replace that file? Would you like to save the changes with a different name or just merge the changes into the existing file? So you can make the choice, whatever you want. If you replace the existing file, then nothing will change about the name. It'll just update the existing file and these things will behave the way they sound like. So your choice. I'm going to go ahead and click on Cancel. But if I did hit Save right now, it would simply update however I selected. I'm going to hit on Cancel because you know what happens when you hit Save. It does its thing. 
well, what if you want a different kind of a file? So for instance, here, I don't want a Word document. I want a PDF file. So I click on Browse. I tell it where I would like to store. Oh, excuse me. Let me click on Cancel. I don't want to work in the SkyDrive. Select where you want to save it. I want to save it on the computer. Oh, here's Desktop. That's where I wanted to go. And on the Desktop, I want same name, but I don't want a Word document. Maybe I want to take it down to a previous version of Word. Maybe I want to create a PDF. Whatever you'd like to do here, you just say, nope, I want this, or I want a PDF, whatever it is you would like, and then you store it based on the choices that you make. Now, I do want to create a PDF, but I want to show you another option for creating PDFs, so I'm going to click on Cancel here. Here's the other choice. We're already in the backstage, and the other choice for creating a PDF is in Export right here. Create PDF slash XPS. So you go in and see it already has the Save As Type switched for you, so you don't have to go through that process. But anytime you create a PDF file, make sure you click on Options. And when you click on Options, go through the choices here and make sure you choose the options that you want for the way that it saves the PDF. For instance, I just want the document, no markup. I don't want the properties, and I don't want the structure tabs. So now I have it exactly the way I want it, and I'll go ahead and say OK. Now, where did I want to store this? Let's put it out here on the desktop so you can see it on the desktop quite easily. And now I have the location, the name, and I'll click on Publish. And it's thinking, thinking, thinking. See my little hourglass doing its thinking. Now, let's go take a look. I'll minimize here, and right there is the PDF file. So I've saved it not only as a Word document, but I've also saved it as a PDF file. So as you can see, it's quite easy to use the Save As feature, and it's quite easy to access the SkyDrive. So all you're going to do is decide what you want to name something, where you want to place it, what kind of a file you want, and you're good to go.